just be one little old date. I swear I'm like a bolo tie. Yum. Is he going to use the bolo tie as a command? No. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's React. I'm Kenny and this is my wife Montana. And today we're going to be reacting to season one, episode four of Gravity Falls, The Hand That Rocks the Maple. Ooh, what, what could that be about? What is that a reference about? to? I feel like the hand that rocks the table. Cradle? I'm thinking rocking and you'd rock a cradle. That makes that makes more sense. Yeah. Rocking a table is not a is not a thing. Not advisable. Excited to see more. And if you are, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below for Gravity Falls episodes coming every Tuesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you can't wait uh, and want to see these episodes right now, they're all posted to Patreon and they're extended full-length forms with a new episode coming every Monday at 10 a.m. All right, are we excited for episode four of Gravity Falls? Absolutely. All right, let's get it. Let's go. Listen up, Dunderheads. This video was brought to you by the incredible members of the Let's React Patreon. If you want access to a ton of exclusive perks, check out the link in the description below. Have a good day, Twinkle Toes. For tonight's final illusion, we have the incredible Sack of Mystery. When you put your money Ooh. in, it mysteriously disappears. <gasps> of course. That makes wow. perfect sense. What a nice man. The tiger was badly injured <laughs> in the explosion, but we repaired him with a fist. <laughs> perfect. Wow. Great. The tiger is a hero. Hey, look. It's that commercial I was telling you guys about. Are you completely miserable? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you need to meet Gideon. <laughs> Just some Gideon. guy. He's a psychic. A Let's just make a Scooby-Doo sound. <laughs> oh, competitor. Carl, I've always loved you, but I've never had the guts to say it. Wow, I cannot seriously. Well, don't Carl, is out. Carl, I've always loved you. I've never had the guts to say it. Gideon rolled into town. I've had nothing but trouble. Oh boy. No one that lives under my roof is allowed under that Gideon's roof. Do tents have roofs? I think we just found our loophole. Hmm. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Oh, the intro is so good. Mm -hmm. That's such a cool shot. Yeah. You know, that's so representative, too. Exactly. Just looking into one thing and not realizing you're in the midst of a whole other large well, thing. And, th and thinking that you're seeing something that is, like, out of this world and crazy while an even bigger, crazier thing is right under your nose and you don't even realize it. Yeah. Very cool. I also wonder if any actual gravity-based stuff is going to kick in eventually. Right that would be cool. Put your money in Gideon's sack. Only oh, one sure. They're really big on these sacks. Yeah. Whoa, this is like a bizarro version of the Mystery Shack. They even have their own Seuss. What's a Seuss? That's him. Oh, 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 okay. gotcha. <laughs> it's uh, Dipper, Mabel, and Seuss. Gotcha. Having everyone in a room together for a psychic thing is interesting. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Hello, a America. little man. My name is Lil Gideon. Who does Lil he Gideon. remind me of? I don't even know. I have a vision. I predict. Maybe the pig guy from say, Owl House? Aww. Maybe. <laughs> Yeah, this feels this feels like a scam. Yeah. And you too can see if you would wait on me. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think he's a kid or a man that's like I genuinely don't I can't know. really tell. I mean he can't be that old because his dad is still. That's what alive. I was thinking. And also this is Azula's voice actress. Wait, wait, hold on. He how did he what? He touched the stone and said, Rise up. Hmm. I'm leaving everything to my cat. I'll read your mind if I'm able. Able? Okay, he's kind of killing the vocals, though. Oh, yeah. Boss Baby. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original Boss Baby. <laughs> Thank you! You people are the real miracles! Yeah! 
That was it? Man, that kid's an even bigger fraud than Stan. Oh, come on, his dance moves were adorable. And did you see his hair? You're too easily impressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sinister. Oh. <laughs> Dang. I successfully bezazzled my face. Jenna Marbles, is that you? Ow. <laughs> is that permanent? Has she bedazzled herself? That sounds Has painful. she bedazzled herself? <laughs> she saw a photo of someone with just a bunch of rhinestones on their face and so she glued a just a million rhinestones all over her face oh my god that must have been hard to take off it was fun to watch oh boy i'm unappreciated in my time <laughs> somebody answer that door i'll get it howdy it's little old you <laughs> yeah my song's quite catchy i know we haven't formally met but after yesterday's performance i just couldn't get your laugh out of my head when i saw you in the audience i said to myself now there's a what's his spirit. game someone who appreciates the uh, sparkly things in life <laughs> Channing. <laughs> Channing. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate your discretion. That stands a new fan of mine. What do you say? We step away from here and chat a bit more. Perhaps in my dressing room. Oh wow. Wow. Like? It's extensive. Yes. yes. <laughs> what? Oh. He's hitting on her. Yeah. What's going oh, on? Oh jeez. Oh no. Whoa, where have you been? I'm hanging out with my new pal, Gideon. Mabel, I don't trust anyone whose hair is bigger than their head. Oh, leave him alone. <laughs> That's funny. You and Sus get to do boy stuff all the time. Hey, dude, you ready to blow up these hot dogs in the microwave one by one? Am I? <laughs> Classic. That's We've when all people been there. say boys will be boys. That's, that's what they should be talking about. Yep. Maybe when I'm up here looking down at all them little old people, I feel like I'm king of all I survey. Oh. oh. I guess that makes you my queen. You are being so nice to me right now. Quit it. Don't love that vibe. No. Maybe I've never felt this close with anyone. <laughs> Kicking his feet. So, so close. <laughs> I like you a lot, but let's just be friends. Well, you do me the honor of going on a date with me. A play date? Mm -mm. Oh, boy. It'll just be one little old date. I swear I'm like a bolo tie. Yum. Is he going to use the bolo tie as a command? No. Okay, okay, then, I guess. Is that what he maybe did with that? I think that's it's the touching the bolo tie, like, mm. can sway Are people. Sniffing my hair? Yeah, no. Gross. No. So, what do you think's going on? It's got to be some kind of mind control power in the bolo tie. Yeah, I didn't really see Mabel have anything weird happen there. It seemed like she kind of just begrudgingly was like, okay, one. They, like, it didn't seem like she was like, oh, all of a sudden I'm excited, you know? Well, all yeah, maybe it's not, like, the most powerful persuasion. Mm -hmm. Just like they, like, Dipper stood up, even though he was like, wait, why is that happening? Gotcha. You know, like, it's it's like a puppet who's kind of aware, okay. I guess. That makes but sense. But it just kind of, like... You know when your alarm go you know when your alarm goes off in your dream and it just kind of works its way into yeah like okay. oh yeah this is it's happening like a subtle exactly yeah gotcha okay i didn't want to hurt his feelings and so i figured i'd throw him a bone mabel guys don't work that way he's gonna fall in love with you <sighs> yeah right i'm not that lovable okay we agree on something here <laughs> <laughs> oh boy lord farquad oh my goodness is that you wait, my lady the horse in the restaurant. Oh my god. Let's bring a horse in here. Love that. <laughs> well, people have a hard time saying no to me. Ah, yeah, he's got that. Yeah. Mind Gideon. control. What the jackal is Mabel doing in the paper next to that greasy pickpocket Gideon? Oh boy. Little Gideon's little girlfriend. What? That <laughs> little shyster is dating my great niece. I wonder what the new name will be for the power couple. Maybe oh my god. They're on the cover. <laughs> Make it belly on. This is gonna stop right now. Dude, wouldn't it be funny if that was a closet and he had to come back out again and walk out the real door? Nope, real door. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I feel like some of these bits, they just thought like, yo, this would be funny as shit. They just put it in there without they even, like, like I like how these are just jokes that I would almost be worried to put into a show for real, but they cater to my humor specifically, you know? Yeah, it's like an inside joke with your friend. Yes. Where it's just funny. I like the obscureness of some of these jokes. Get in, you little punk! Open up! I will pardon nothing! Oh? Why, stand for pie. 
friends. What a delight. You simply must come in for coffee. Ooh. But, but I can't. Yeah, it's imported. All the way from Colombia. I went to jail there once. <laughs> Some digs you got here. I want to know his past. Yeah, right. I hear your niece and my Gideon are, well, they're singing in harmony lately, so to speak. Uh, yeah, and I'm against it. I see it as a fantastic business opportunity. Yes, the mystery hmm. shack and the tent of telepathy. We've been at each other's throats for far too long. Let me get that. At each this. other's throats for far <laughs> too long as we have. This is our big chance to brush aside our rivalry and pool our collective profits you see pothos unfortunately no what is it supposed to be something different what is it it it's look at the leaf shape does that not look like a pothos leaf shape <sighs> no there are the splits in the side it doesn't really look like any kind of plant that i know mm. i think it's just like a generic profit. Yeah. exactly profit <laughs> i'm listening oh Mabel, tonight's date was a complete success. And tomorrow's date <laughs> well, promises to top this one in every way. Whoa, whoa. You said just one date. What a surprise. A red crested South American rainbow macaw. Ah! Uh, uh, Mabel, will you accompany Gideon to the ballroom dance this Thursday? Ah! Oh, Dang. So adorable. Oh, social girl. pressure. Oh. Expecting us. Please say you'll go. Oh. oh. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna Good for her. Say. I'm gonna be my seat. This is gonna be adorable. Oh, come on, Mabel. If she says no, I'll die from sadness. Okay. <laughs> Verify that that will indeed happen. <laughs> is he this causing is like all of this? people in internet comments. Yeah. That's so funny. She really tried, too. To yeah. Go? I don't know. I have a <laughs> lobster now. Well, at least it's over and you won't ever have to go out with him again. At least there's some advantage. Mabel? It's over, right? He asked me out again and I didn't know how to say no. Like this. No. It's not that easy, Dipper. And I do like Gideon as a friend slash little sister. So I didn't want to hurt his feelings. <laughs> little sister. Devastating. Boat in the night. Boat in the night. <laughs> oh, you know, I thought dancing was going to be the end of the evening, right? <laughs> Don't you want this evening to last, my sweet? No. I mean, I'm always happy to hang out with a friend, buddy, pal. Um, oh my god. Pal? How about soulmate? Oh. Well, you can't say no to that. <sighs> you know, it's an important it's thing to show, though. Oh, 1,000%. One thousand percent. Like, what are your thoughts on what's going on right now? So, I mean, using social pressure to get someone to do something that you know they don't want to do is just so textbook manipulator so don't love that like i just think it's an interesting thing of showing like just how much like it's portraying the way that pressure works very well 100 percent, which is like a really important thing yeah we'll see if she can uh get past it but i wonder yeah. if there is a supernatural element or if it's just pressure because you get doing more and more elaborate things yeah you know? very interesting yes Because so many people get stuck in really awful situations for exactly this reason. Yeah. I was in the friend zone, and then before I knew what was happening, he pulled me into the romance zone! It's not like you're gonna have to marry Gideon. Great news, Mabel! You have to marry Gideon! What? It's oh, all part boy. of my long-term deal with Buddy Gleeful. There's a lot of cash tied up in this thing. Plus, I got this shirt! I am fat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Bodies change, honey! Bodies <laughs> change. <laughs> He seems to be stuck on who he used to be a lot. Yeah. Maybe that's why he liked the wax sculpture. All right, enough is enough. If you she should just not go. Video, then I'll do it for you. You will? You Amazing. Know, yeah. Just stay home. Yeah. <laughs> Ghost him. Exactly. Like the whole like say it to their face thing doesn't apply after you tried and it didn't work. Yeah. Oh, Dipper Pines, how are you? You It's going to convince good. him you too. Look good. Thanks. Yeah. You, uh, He's like a politician. Look, <laughs> Very true. Maybe isn't joining you tonight so what you're saying oh. is you've come between us you're not gonna like freak out or anything are you <laughs> of course not these things happen <laughs> Bye, guys, mm. you know. well then again sorry man but uh hey thumbs up thumbs nope up indeed my friend oh no now he's How just gonna go? go for dipper did he, did he try to read your mind with his psychic powers don't worry mabel he's just a kid what's the thing on her powers um head I think it was a hair clip. Okay. Oh, go? oh, gotcha, gotcha. Did he try to read your mind with his psychic powers? Yeah, does he have powers? Dipper Pines, 
You don't know what you've done. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Gravity. How is that gravity? Oh, Stuff's Jesus. Oh, my God. Or I thought you meant the lights breaking. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Can you clean up your room this instant? I can buy and sell you, old man. What? Oh, my God. Oh, and the maple door. Mabel. Mabel door, yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, my. Wait, what did he do? He I burned Dipper enough. out of it. With what? Just his mind? Yeah. Oh my god, That's... what are these powers? What is this stone? What could that even what is be? Happening? The mystery oh god, continues. So mm -hmm. back to normal. Yeah, man. Hello? Toby determined gravity <laughs> gossiper. Oh, my hey, favorite man. side character. <laughs> we want to interview you about whether you've seen anything unusual in this here town since you've arrived. Oh, finally! I thought nobody would ever ask. Uh-huh. 412 Gopher Road. Got it. There. I did your dirty work. Now it's time mm. for paying your end of the bargain. Chandra Jimenez's phone number. Bless you, <laughs> Gideon. He's obsessed with the other reporter. Of course. Is he gonna throw him off that cliff? Whoa. Hello? Hello? Sketchy. Yeah, this is scary. Telepathy's pretty scary power. It really is. Oh. Hello, friend. No. Gideon, <laughs> this town has secrets you couldn't begin to comprehend. Yeah. Okay. I told you she's not into you. Liar! She was my pink Dumplin! Uh, are you okay, man? Mm -hmm. Oh! Whoa! He can just use it on him. Reading minds is I wonder all I what's the properties of it. What is it? Why does he have so many dolls? Is this fake? <laughs> Merch. Merch attack. Whoa! What is it? How's that hair tasting, buddy? When Oof. you need some advice, you've broken up with guys, right? Oh yeah, rust or rum. I thought everything was back to normal, but I still feel all gross. Maybe letting Dipper do it for me was a mistake. Gideon deserves an honest breakup. I'm not sure I ever actually broke up with him. No wonder he keeps calling me. <laughs> you know what I gotta do. Thanks for talking to me, Wendy. Now she's gonna go do it too. <laughs> like I should take care of that. Ignore. Huh. <laughs> or not. He's just wrecking all of his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That'll sell. <laughs> Commemorative baseball bat. <laughs> She's never gonna date you, man! That's a lie! Get it? We have to talk. Mabel! Here we go. Sorry, Keeping the brother floating. Yeah. Your marshmallow. I needed to be honest and tell you that myself. Uh, Mabel, this probably isn't the best time to be brutally honest with him. It seems like he's being, there's like something. With his feelings tied in or? No. That but there's like a, there's a, an aspect of the power that's not just hovering. He's uncomfortable while he's hovering. There's something that's happening in there, like electricity, mm. it seemed like. I think it's because he got upset. He tightened the hold on it. Oh, interesting. Like, this, that's why he said it's not the best time to break his heart. Right. I thought he was saying that in the sense of, like, don't have a conversation with him right now because he has me up in the air. Exactly. He has me up in the air and he's going to make it worse as he feels worse. Interesting. Is what, that's what I gathered from this. Okay. Uh, 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 Mabel, this probably isn't the best like, time. That's yeah, like no, you're response. right. Yeah. yeah. But we can still be makeover buddies, right? Really? No, not really. Nice. Huh. You were, like, attacking my brother. What the heck? Not so powerful without this. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh my god. Mabel's gonna have to use it. You're in the, you're about to die. Nice. Alright. Did she just get a power upgrade? Can she keep it now? I want that. That's a very cool power. Yeah. It's or is she gonna step on it? I will never ever date you. Mm, yep. This isn't the last. And where did he get the isn't powers? It? Oh, man. <laughs> he's gonna come back for sure. Yeah. All right. What do we What do we think of that? You know what? Sometimes you just gotta you gotta let it out. Mabel coming to be like. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. If being subtle isn't working, be less subtle. Yeah. And like, I think also her having Dipper do it for her, she still was like, uh, I need to just like I need, I would feel better if I did that. You Definitely. Know? These powers are unreal. What are they from? Like, is it 
I'm, we don't really know anything besides the fact that it exists. Well, the but fact I that it's know. transferable based on who has the stone is so cool. Yeah. I wonder what's got, like, where he got it. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. How many are there? Yeah. Are there different sizes? Different powers. Yeah. Yeah. From now on, it's all name brand foods and clown paintings. <laughs> Hey, Gideon, look what. Stand for pines, I rebuke thee. You will all pay recompense for your transgressions. What, you got like a work right, day buddy. calendar or something? <laughs> <laughs> what about our arrangement with Mabel and the- Silence! Sorry, Stan, I have to side with Gideon on this one. <laughs> the way he picked up his foot for <gasps> the contract was really funny. Yeah. Stan, I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm going to need that painting back. Stan, Stan, <laughs> catch me, suckers! <sighs> I could have had it all. What the heck happened to you two? I could have had it all. <laughs> yeah. Gideon. Yeah. Lives in the past a little bit. More vengeance on the whole family. <laughs> I guess he's gonna try to nibble my ankles or something. Yeah. How's he gonna destroy us now, huh? Yeah. Without that stone, he's got no power. Yeah. Mystery hack. Hmm. Oh, this is creepy. Yes. Hmm. Oh. Hey, what are you gonna do without your precious amulet? Oh, you'll see, boy. Mystic. Okay, we you can it, make. It, there's a number two. Okay. So there's several books. Uh, All right. What are you gonna do without your precious And amulet? Dipper has the other one. Okay. Oh, you'll see, boy. Fig B. Oh, figure B. Figure. Um, yeah. But what is that? Is it instructions on how to make it? Maybe? Yeah. Like a manual? Maybe. Oh, yet. apparently we do need to watch all of the credits every okay. time. Cool. Hopefully it doesn't Almost. try to cut us out. Almost. And there. Las Todas. Nice. I can't believe we missed this before. You're all fired. You freaking out, kid? Yeah. No, I'm cool. Everything's cool. Oh. oh my god. Um, what are they like? Are they? Well, that was a very great episode of Gravity Falls, episode four in the books. What are your thoughts before we jump into a discussion? I'm very excited that we've gotten to the gravity part of the show. Yeah, the, um, <laughs> that was really interesting to see right? new power and like somebody wielding it. Yeah, definitely. More mysteries to be had. Also, um, where's book number one? I'm wondering that. I want to know the person that wrote these books, and uh, maybe it's Grunkle Stan, maybe it's, uh, and it could be literally anybody else, <laughs> um, but we're going to have to see. But uh, if you enjoyed that episode, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and check out the Patreon linked in the description below to see these episodes early in their extended full-length forms. Our next episode is going to be coming next Tuesday. We have a lot to discuss, but before we do that, where are we headed? All right, let's review. Thank you for watching. For now, we're going to go to questions given to us by our amazing Patreon members. If you want to ask us questions that we answer after every episode of any show we watch, join the link in the description below and start asking. For now, let's go to question one. Um, Impulsive Insomniac asks, Lil Gideon has the second journal. Damn. My question is, how do you think he'll use the journal? Um, how do you think he'll use the knowledge of his journal to destroy the Pines twins? Do you think this is the last we've seen of him? I think he's going to probably try to replace the amulet. Um, I don't know if that's something that even is replaceable, but it looked like there was kind of a how-to situation yeah. in the book. So maybe my guess is that he's going to try to like weaponize some of the scary animals to save Mabel from her abusive family. Yeah, I'm... So yeah. I don't think we've seen the last of him at all. I don't think we have at all. And I think also he's probably going to take it a notch up and potentially because he has to go get a new amulet or something, he might just make it bigger or like different in some worse way. Yeah. Um, not, and I really wonder like who wrote these books? Like who, it, it, where's book number one, you know? Well, I'm curious about if it's an encyclopedia type situation where each book has different well, knowledge. This is actually... Or I'll, if it's I'll like... You, can I ask you the second Yeah, book? go for it. Our second question is Big K asks, Dipper found Journal 3 in an old robotic tree so how do you think Gideon obtained journal two follow up who do you think has journal one like I wonder where these books originated and like yeah I mean it seems like someone's hiding them because there's no logical reason that a journal would just end up in a tree 
Um, yeah, a robotic tree at that. Exactly. I have genuinely no idea where he could have found the book. Maybe like a thrift store or something. Yeah, I bet he just ran into it on accident. Yeah, um, but then I, like... Wait, thrift store? I'm Because it was the other one was so hidden. I bet this one was also hidden. True. I bet it was just tucked into like a corner of a cave or something. Like it seems like there's a lot of outposts and places you yeah. can go here. Like I, I bet you it's not exactly the robotic tree, but something just like spread out elaborate. and tucked yeah. away. But I, I think these were intentionally placed because why would you not intend? Why would you intentionally place the third one if you hadn't haven't intentionally placed the second one? You know? Yeah. I wonder. Because it would throw someone off the, the track. But clearly not. Not me. Because it was found. But oh. Two and three have been found, so yeah, didn't exactly work there. But I wonder where number one is, and if it has the most important information in it. Yeah. Um, all questions hopefully answered in future episodes. But let's go to our final question. Final question. Um, John Jam- Morano asks. Um, Gideon clearly has no problem spending money on extravagant shows of quote unquote affection. He has no problems with manipulating and going to extremes for what he wants. How do you think he became this way? Do you think he has a chance to become a better person? My guess is that when he found the book and developed all of this power that it kind of went to his head in like a light Yagami kind of situation where it started off as like, oh, I'm just going to use this thing to like get like a house or something normal. And then as it went on and on, he progressively started buying more and more expensive and luxurious and unnecessary things. And maybe like if that's how he perceives his own value, then that's what he feels like Mabel would see in him. So Mm -hmm. that's what he's trying to show her. I think that I'm sensing mostly malice at this point, but like, I think that there were several occasions where she was like, I think I just want to be friends and just go do friendly stuff and like... He, they were having fun in certain in that capacity so maybe if he just gets over that then they could just have a decent friendship but I think destroying the amulet kind of made it so it's going to be hard for him to be a good person in the near future definitely yeah that's where we're left for episode 4 of Gravity Falls uh, are we excited for episode 5 the inconveniencing can't wait alright let's get it let's go let's go